it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And the first week of October lived up to its reputation, at least as far as described by famous American author Mark Twain, who said October is one of the particularly dangerous months to invest in stocks. Of course, he went on to claim that all the other months on the calendar were equally as dangerous. Nonetheless, I've decided to rename this month Rocktober, as the stock markets were rocked after two reports showed slowing in September for both manufacturing and hiring, coupled with a push for impeachment of the president by the House Democrats. Shortly behind last month's slowdown in manufacturing was this month's private payrolls report, which revealed that the pace of hiring is easing as the labor market continues to tighten, followed by the ISM report, the Institute for Supply Management, whose non-manufacturing index hit a three-year low, sparking fears a manufacturing slowdown has spread to other parts of the economy. The September unemployment rate fell to 3.5%, a 50-year low, and wages were disappointing with hourly earnings little changed over the month. So investors sold stocks and bought bonds, pushing the 10-year yield on the 10-year Treasury bond to a mere 1.5%. As my old friend and mentor, Brad Beetle, the infamous Beetle maniac, would say on weeks like this, when it comes to stocks, yields are rising nicely, especially when you consider this week's negative data pushed up expectations that the Federal Reserve will cut rates at the October meeting. The futures market is now pricing a 90% probability for a 25 basis point cut by month's end, up from 40% merely three days earlier. Now, the next three months should be the most wonderful time of the year for the stock market. It's when consumers spend the most, companies sell the most, and the economy usually grows the most. The Dow and the S&P typically post their biggest gains in the fourth quarter. They have been up more times in the fourth quarter than any other period of the year, climbing 70% of the time. Now, the market always faces issues, faces concerns, and that's what Wall Street calls climbing a wall of worry. Bonds are near new highs with meager yields and net of inflation, mostly negative yields. Stocks, however, are now available at lower prices than last week, with dividend yields higher and mostly positive net of inflation. Short-term corrections in the market are driven mostly by fear and pessimism. They usually come and go fast. You can't time them, and you don't want to miss out on the gains that come in a big, booming bull market. Now, if you're sitting there listening and wondering, do I have a portfolio to participate in this big, booming bull market? Do I have a bond portfolio that may be overvalued or sitting in bond funds? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? Simply give us a call or text, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne, and I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. 